So I'm Pora Kenny. I'm the director of the Kabara Cancer Research Institute at the Gunderson Medical Foundation, which is part of Gunderson Health System in La Crosse, Wisconsin. So here at ASCO, we're presenting our work on what we call the Gunderson Precision Oncology Cohort. It, it seeks to address an outstanding unmet need in the whole arena of precision oncology, where we've seen so many drugs approved across a wide variety of indications targeted at one gene, often with a you know, somewhat broad spectrum of mutations within that gene, but still a large repertoire of mutations outside of that, you know, outside of that core set where the mechanism of action is unclear and even the susceptibility to the particular targeted agent. So many of the, um, the specimens that have been used in these prospective cohorts that led to the approval of these drugs are very locked down. So to try to democratize that and get some of those specimens out for use in the research community, We've been building up what we call the Gunderson Precision Oncology Cohort for the past couple of years. It's now grown to a size of more than 800 patients. We have specimens across 42 different tumor types, and these are all patients who receive comprehensive genomic profiling as part of their routine cancer care at the Gunderson Health System. Um, we're very big believers in the importance of understanding disease evolution on therapy. So 42 of these patients have um, had sampling at more than one time point. So we've been steadily chipping away at understanding some of these atypical variants or common variants in unusual presentations in studies in the laboratory and even in human patients that we've been publishing on these past few years. But now that the cohort has grown to a size of more than 800 patients, we're really looking for collaborators, sorry, collaborators and opportunities to partner with other individuals in this precision oncology space to maximize the utilization of these specimens. We've had one um, interesting collaboration so far with a company that was developing uh, RNA-based um, predictors for susceptibility to um, checkpoint immunotherapy and head and neck squamous cell carcinoma, and have another ongoing collaboration in the sort of interface between digital pathology and artificial intelligence. So if anybody out there is interested in exploring this further with me or my team, please, you can reach out to us at uh, oncologybiobank.com. And this precision oncology cohort that I've mentioned is really the centerpiece of a much larger collection we have at Gunderson as part of our Gunderson Cancer Biobank, which is 114,000 specimens from 12,800 individuals. So thanks a lot. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onca Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.